Welcome back to Cigar Time, the world's most viewed show just dedicated solely to premium cigars. We're honored today to announce... <laughs> What's so funny about that? <laughs> Because, who knows? Very serious but that, thing. that might not be true. We have aced out Finland and Sweden now for six weeks. I think it's safe <laughs> to assume. You're talking strictly television, not internet and stuff like I that. I said right? television. I don't think anybody on the internet Broadcast has television. television. Remember, you can watch us not only on TV, but you can also watch us on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, what else are we on? Website. What? Our website, which well, is? Website what was our website YouTube. again? ccigars.com. I'm glad somebody remembered. So anyway. I get a raise? We, yeah, bend over. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's the funniest thing anyone. We want to welcome a new ever. sponsor, a very honored company that we do business with, the Al Bradley Company. We're honored today to have their national vice president of marketing, Sammy. Uh, Sammy, I'm calling you Sammy. He called me Sammy. It's yeah, fine. Just on call late for dinner. I don't know. Sam Phillips, who's not from Memphis, by the way. Happy to be here. And we have Jonathan Lipson, who is the regional sales manager, who calls on us and does a splendid job of selling everything uh, to us except the kitchen sink. <laughs> Thank more, you, Art. More about this later. <laughs> That'll be next week. That'll be next week. <laughs> <laughs> John's been with us before, though. I have been yes. with you guys yes. before, yes. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, thank yeah. you for having yeah. me back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we're, uh, we, we do a nice job with your company, and we really appreciate the service and the good deals we get from you, and we try to look out for our customers and pass those along to them, and uh, so forth and so on. And the lovely Miss Tia will tell us about our cigar for today. Our cigar is the Alec Bradley yes. Raices Cubana. The wrapper is Honduran, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is both Nicaraguan and Honduran. The sizes are Churchill, Gordo, Robusto, and Toro. And the flavor profile is the creamy, peppery, and buttered toffee. Can't wait to taste that buttered toffee. Uh, this cigar is named after the fact that... <laughs> Toffee. Isn't it tof? Oh, toffee. I said toffee. Oh, toffee. I said toffee. Butter toffee. I like toffee. Butter toffee. 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 Tofu. Yeah, it's all the same. It's a new breed. Uh, this cigar was like, named after the factory who makes them. It's medium body, <laughs> very oily, invite, and very inviting. It's triple capped and an impeccable smoke. Wow. I'm Ooh. Ooh, impeccable. Nice. Impeccable. Oh, see, That's it was more word. than four words. Four letters. Impeccable. Word of the day. Toilet paper. Huh? Did you get that word of the day toilet paper? Toilet Sorry. paper? I don't know. You guys know I'm slow. I'm going to light my cigar. We never say it in front of you. Sam, why don't you give us <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, it was pretty impressive. It was very impressive. Thank you. Why don't you give us a little discourse about the history of, of why don't you talk a little about the company first, and then we'll get sure. into Sure, whatever cigar. direction you'd like me to go in art. Uh, Alec Bradley, named after Alan Rubin, the, the founder, the president of our corporation's two sons, Alec and Bradley. Alec is now 21 years old and finishing up his senior year in college. Bradley is 18 and a freshman, and I'm sure partying his ass off at UCF. Nice. Way to go, Brad. Are we um, to say can we say ass on television? Yeah. Can. Oh, okay. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Parting I his beard. So. Are we, we ready, just for, did. ready for the B-roll? No, sorry. Right. All right. Or whatever. Good. I was going to cut him and, and say butt. Um, I say ass is better. <laughs> <laughs> so um, a little bit about the, the, the company history. We were founded in 1996, right, right d during the boom, kind of the tail end of the boom. And uh, later, Alan met his partner, Ralph Montero who uh, founded with his uncle Pedro Martin Tropical Tobacco, uh, who we're all very familiar with, I'm sure. Yep. And we, we hit the market with Occidental Re Reserve, working with Hanky Kellner. Later that moved into a, a little cigar that I'm sure we all know at the table named Tempest, uh, was the first 94 rated cigar that we had ever received. And um, then we followed up Tempest with Prince Sato which was 2011 Cigar of the Year, so the number one cigar in the world. And we've had some other great hits like American Classic, American Sun Grown. Uh, we've got Family Blend, which also was a 94 rated product. Um, and now we've got some of the newer cigars like Black Market that people have seen in the marketplace. And today we're smoking Raices Cubanas. Raices Cubanas meaning Cuban roots. Our partners out of the Raices Cubanas factory, the Andamando family, Ugo, uh, his father Romay and his mother Lipa. Um, incredible incredible uh rollers and managers of tobacco and wonderful partners for us and this was their 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 come to fame cigar so they they roll other cigars viaje who i'm sure you've heard of another great brand and of course illusion another yeah. great brand they make those cigars they've got more top 25 rated cigars than any other factory in the world five years running that's impressive i wow. mean it's yeah, impressive it and it's a true statistic so i'll say it again more 
top 25 rated cigars than any other factory in the world five wow. years running. And, you know, for me, Raices Cubanas is a fantastic cigar. I know that Jonathan Lipson, the playa, is a big the, fan of the cigar as well. My favorite. And um, the playa. The playa. That's, that's a little bit about Alec Bradley. And, I don't uh, know we're why a, they call Jonathan the playa. That's a very good question. You should ask Sammy. Well, I, you know, there's a couple of uh, different connotations for the for the word playa. Let's go with the. Yeah, let's go with the one we can discuss on television. Right. Yeah. So John John is a, John is a, he he likes to play cards and he likes to play pool and he's a, and he's a good pool player. Not much of a shark, but he's a good pool player. Hence good enough. The player. So if you saw his ad in Cigar Aficionado, he's there uh, with yeah. a pool with a pool cue yeah. and and he's a good player. He's famous. Wow. He's, big, he's, big, he's big time. He's big time. Can I get your autograph? Wow. Absolutely. He's also a ninja. No question. And then, yes. yes this changes the whole Samurai. way. I, the whole way I thought about it. I was going to go there first. <laughs> I just thought you were another pretty face. Oh, thank you, Art. <laughs> oh, I'm a pretty boy. That's nice. Nice compliment. Well, I, Jonathan, why don't you talk a little about the cigar we're smoking today? Well, I think Sammy hit the, a lot of the points. Uh, like Sammy actually said, this is truly my favorite cigar. Uh, currently in the Alec Bradley lineup. It's medium bodied, even though I hate this word, Cuban-esque. I don't know what that means, but a lot of people use it. Uh, very rich, very creamy, nice cocoa slash cinnamon note to it. And uh, I think Sammy took care of the rest of it. You know, toffee? How it came to Did be. we talk about yeah, the Yeah, definitely has got toffee. <laughs> Did you get the toffee? I don't, I don't get toffee. No. I didn't get any toffee either. Not yet. Maybe I tofu. Tell you, I, if you want to know what Cubanesque means, I can tell you what that means. Go ahead. Right. Let's is go that, into that. that. like Rubenesque? Back in the day <laughs> when Cuba actually made very good cigars, which sadly for, you know, give or take a few years in the last 20 years, uh, and most of you have been watching this program know I've spent a lot of time in Cuba. I've been there 30 odd times. All legal, I might add. Why and, do you always caveat that? Well, with in that? case, uh, I don't know. I don't know who's watching this yeah, show. You've got to want to qualify. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I would go on a religious mission, a humanitarian mission, <laughs> and we would bring all kinds of supplies down and have shipped in. We, we sponsor a particular religious cult in uh, Cuba. Maybe cult's not the right word. Organization. <laughs> organization. <laughs> cult. Yeah. With powdered cool milk from New Zealand, etc., stuff like that. Vegemite? Gary what is that? Vegemite from New no, Zealand? No, no, no Vegemite? Vegemite. No. <laughs> well, that stuff's nasty, man. But it you is. You know, what, what Cuban S means, at least the way I look at it, having smoked some truly, truly great cigars in Cuba in my time, I can only describe the old Hoyo de Monterey Double Corona, which was my favorite cigar. A really good one would taste like a milkshake, like a black and white milkshake. It, had a, it, it wasn't a real heavy cigar, but it had just a creamy, very rich taste. And then the, the punches and the boulevards, which had a little stronger, a little more pungent, which, you know, catered to a lot of the heavy, the guys who liked the heavy cigars. But the truly tasty cigars, uh, which unfortunately you can't get much of anymore down there, and that's sad, uh, that's what they mean by Cubanesque. I think most people are talking about that old Hoyo de Monterey taste, which just doesn't exist anymore. So something that reminds you of the Cubans of the old times. Yes, and, and, and I have to tell you, when I first smoked the cigars, you know, some time ago when you first came out with it, the first thing that went through my mind was that old Hoyo taste, because it resembles it quite closely. It's a very, in my opinion, well, we'll come around and talk about it, but it's a very impressive cigar. Rob, what do these sell for? Uh, this is the Robusto. It's eight ninety five. Okay, so it's so it's, it's on the higher end of the medium price cigars, but it's certainly not a super premium, and and, and you know. If you can afford to smoke three or four of them a day, that's great. I mean, if not, smoke one or two, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's definitely an approachable product. No, it's an approachable cigar. Absolutely. I, I think, Art, that the thing that is the most impressive about this cigar, and especially for the viewers out there, if you, if you take into consideration the ratings that this particular family has attained in such a short time, amazing. Amazing. It, really, it really is amazing. I mean, Raices Cubanas, again, meaning Cuban roots. From Illusion to, Via to Viaje, some of the other major brands that they've produced for, and of course Alec Bradley, and, and our partnership, and even though we work directly with them, this is the family that produced the Alec Bradley Prinsado, which was the highest Great rated cigar, cigar in the world, and the only non-Cuban family 
to ever receive that rating. That's incredible. It is. And, and the amazing thing to me, most of their operations are in Honduras, right? That is correct. Absolutely. Yeah, you always think of Nicaragua. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, there's yeah. a big Nicaraguan push right well, now. Honduras. Well, yeah, there is. I mean, Honduras is my favorite to back. And I think a lot, especially yeah. us old timers, you know, remember how in the early 70s, Nicaragua was about to overtake Cuba. As, as, the, as the leader of high quality cigars, and then of course the first Sandinista revolution. Right. Take care of that. Wipe that out. And I'm just reminiscing, so don't pay any attention to me. I know most of you don't. <laughs> this since you've had your birthday, that's all you've been doing. Is yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm at the age now where the only time I use a suit is to go to a funeral. Oof. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> I better Come take on, my Lord. sport coat off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Take a break, have a beer. You know? wow. <laughs> 29 and holding, right, Art? 29 and holding, that's correct. <laughs> I don't know what I'm holding anymore, but I can't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. Scott, we'll start with you. What about me? Well, there's a lot about you I admire. You would like me to rate that? I can't write it all down right now, but, you know. I'm no, I don't want you to rate it. Really? I just want you to talk about it. Already? I love right. the, the wrapper on this is really beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful It's wrapper. It's got a very different... Color. It's almost like it's a, like a it's risotto. Like a, I think it's almost, almost risotto. Red. But I was thinking more like Sumatra. cinnamony. Cinnamony. Well, cinnamony would be red. color. Would yeah. Be red? Um, very smooth. Reddish. Um, I am getting the creaminess from it. Red. A little tiny bit of spice, and I am sure. getting, especially pre like the cinnamon from it. Um, that I, this is um, probably my second favorite Alec Bradley cigar. Oh, okay. The favorite being the wine right. and rare. Which one? Wine really? and rare. Oh, really? That's a, that's a great that's a cigar, cigar to be your favorite. Right? Wow. Very hard to find for it to be your favorite cigar, oh. but... It's because it's fine and rare. Fine and exactly. rare. Exactly, fine and rare. <laughs> it says it in the name. It says it in the name, absolutely. You know what? Actually, you know what I just got on that, from this? Tofi. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's a good thing, uh, because it's yeah. Tofi. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> Rob? Uh, I don't get the Tofi, whatever that is. <laughs> I do get, it is very creamy, uh, very uh, peppery. I'm getting a little bit of that. Um, yeah, it's, feel very, it very, your it's very smooth. What does 1941 stand for? Mm. Acquiesce to Jonathan Lipson. Let's put him on the spot. That is a very good question. They had some great baseball cards that year. Uh, 1941 represents, no, uh, make sure I'm not wrong on this. It represents when the family went to Honduras, or is it the... Almost, almost. It's the birth date Thank you. of Hugo Endemondo's father, Romai. Romai, So that's yes. what it oh, signifies. That's, that's Everything it. started with Romai, okay. and this signifies his birth date. Oh. And his son took over the business um, okay. several years ago. They still work together as a family, but that's what it signifies. All right, cool. I, I mean, we're yeah. here to have a good time, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. do yeah, it. So, um, it's very smooth. I, I like the cigar a lot. Uh, I agree with Scott. It is my second favorite uh, Alec Bradley cigar. Uh, the first being the Prinsado. I think that's mm. that is one of the closest to perfect cigars there is. You know. So, thank I, I, you. I want to go back to. Oh, I want to oh, go back okay. to this. I suddenly just got a like my entire mouth was filled with like a red, like a red peppery flavor. Like it's covering the whole mouth. Just took what and I was not, gonna say. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's not overpowering. It's very no, pleasant. Not at all. No. It's toffee. That's what it means. So that's what Tofi is. That's what Tofi means. <laughs> well, we can't, we can't ask, obviously, well, the two of you to... Sure you can. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm coming around. Can't ask you to rate it. That wouldn't be fair. But, what, you know, you're smoking it now, today. You know, what's your thoughts on this cigar? John? I've already said this is, hands down, my currently my favorite Alec Bradley cigar. And you have said that before. I have so definitely I said that before. That. So um, I'm going to continue with that. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the races, Cubanas. For me, this cigar is a solid, medium-bodied cigar. Yeah. It's, very, it's very creamy. It's very right. smooth. It's almost yes. buttery on the palate. For me, uh, and I don't want to sound magazine-esque, um, I, get, I get a light earthiness right. for, for my palate yeah. and like, almost like, a, like an almond or a nuttiness oh, yeah. for, for, for me. When I blow it through the nose, when I retrohale, right. Right. that's when I'll get some of that light pepper spice right. that we had talked yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Miss Thea? Wow, my turn. Um, um, when I first, <laughs> I had to say that. When I first light it up, I'm hit with cream, like right away, plus a bunch of smoke. Um, I love the construction, and I get the pepper all over my mouth, on the front of my palate, and definitely it lingers on the back, which is 
kind of nice. Um, because of the pepper, I'd say it's a slightly high medium. I'm not going to go just with the medium. I go a little higher. Maybe for someone like me who likes them more on the mild to medium side. So it would be slightly higher for that. And I think it's a beautiful draw. Real easy. Like, it's just real smooth and easy to draw on itself. And my favorite is the Tempest, by the way. Oh, okay. That's great. Uh, this is really complex. It's getting, it keeps changing on you. The more you smoke it. Yeah, the Absolutely. more you smoke it, the more it changes. It takes me cigar. forever to smoke mine. Well, I always get to the middle first. I can't really add a whole lot to what's been said here, but this is re very reminiscent of that Cubanesque taste that was talked about earlier. And uh, it's definitely a high quality cigar. It has a nice sweet finish to it. It has a little pepper when you retro inhale. And it's just a well made smoke, burns evenly, good ash. I mean, you know, if 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 they were five dollars a piece, I'd smoke ten a day. No. You don't smoke ten a day. No. Well, what Art's not do. telling you is that even though they're eight dollars, he only pays half that amount. Oh, you're giving away somewhere <laughs> along yeah. those <laughs> lines. So, <laughs> I have a question. Why does it on the band say Baez Cuba? What does that mean? On the back. Uh, they're from Cuba. The from family. Cuba. The, the family to Cuba. Honduras. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have we smoked oh. enough of it to rate it? That's actually pretty cool. It's actually yeah. uh, the same town mm -hmm. that Pepin's from as well. Yes. Oh. So, yeah. Which town in Cuba is he from? <laughs> That's dead Pepe silence right there. It's Baez. Oh, it's Baez. It's, it's a town, yeah. Baez? Yeah. Baez? Oh, I said it See, every Baez. cigar that we Baez. Every cigar that we smoke oh, from Baez. Alec Bradley should should draw exactly the way that you described the draw. And the reason that it should draw that way is because we have our, our, our very specific quality control standards and we use a machine mm -hmm. down there called the Draw Master. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So before the wrapper goes on, it mm -hmm. pulls the airflow through the cigar to ensure that we have that nice, easy draw. It's not too loose and it's not too tight. No, it's perfect. Do you perfect. do every cigar? We do every cigar. It's Some actually perfect. I've seen it. We do every, we do yeah. every cigar. And I you know what? Draw. And at the end of the day, That's the way as goes. as as good as we think we are, there's always room oh. for improvement, and it's a handmade product. I don't know. Yeah, I right. say so, the, yeah. I say the jaw is perfect. Trust me. So you got when, one. When you got that perfect. Sales reps come in here to try to sell us a new line or a product extension of an existing line, and they might throw eight or nine cigars out on the table, no matter which cigar I grab. It's like a heat-seeking <laughs> missile. I get the plugged one. <laughs> <laughs> right or wrong? Every well, you still, you still, you still buy them anyhow. <laughs> absolute fact. Absolute fact. It's amazing. But never, I can't recall ever getting a plug out of Bradley. Me neither. Ever. Thank you. Oh my God. So that draw master works. Yeah, absolutely. Like All right. Said, well, at least the Alec Bradley one works. Yeah, well, every, everybody trying to get uses better. the draw master. Well, in one way or another. They don't actually use them in Cuba. How often do we sit around with sales reps smoking Cuban cigars? Oh, we should be trying well, we to do have. that more often. I mean, we have. Yeah. Hopefully. No. We have. No, the quality, sadly, is not there. They, 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 there's a half a dozen brands I could name right now that are better than any Cuban cigar that, sadly, is coming out of Cuba mm -hmm. right now. Oh, I agree. It's so sad. I mean, it, it's at the point now where I, I've overheard people talking about cigars that I could see were obvious fakes. And they were yeah. probably decent Dominican Better. cigars that Absolutely. were nice, light. And they're saying, well, this is a great cigar. <laughs> they don't even, they're not even smoking a Cuban. Yeah. I heard a statistic years ago, and I don't, I don't know if it's real or if it's not real, but I was told that the number one counterfeit market in the world is counterfeit Cubans. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt that at yeah. all. More than, more yeah, than any. The, the amazing thing to me like is, wow. Absolutely. the amazing thing, you know, in the old days, during the boom, guys would come into the store, you know, typically with a Cuba Esplendido, that's the most counterfeited cigar in the world. They would come in with an Esplendido, and they'd want me to authenticate it. And I'd look at it, and, and I, I didn't even have to open the box. I said, well, how much did you pay for it? Yeah, right. Oh, $250. That was a standard price, $250. And I would say, well, hold on, wait here. And I'd go back in my office, I'd get an official receipt, which you have to have when you leave from Jose Marte Airport in Havana. And in those days, the Cuban price was around $363 and Absolutely. change. So I would say to him, well, these are obviously phonies. You can't buy a Cuban cigar cheaper anywhere else in the world except for Cuba. So, uh, you know, somebody paid, two, somebody paid 363 smuggled it out, crossed the Straits of Florida, sold it to one guy, who sold it to another guy, who sold it to another guy, and you finally got it, and they lost $113 you know, on the transaction. I don't think so. 
I said, let me split one open. I guarantee I find two or three twigs in there. And sure enough. And I said, if you light it, you're going to get a white ash. I guarantee you, not the dirty gray ash that a Cuban cigar is famous for because of the content, the mineral content in the soil and all that. So, I mean, it's so sad that people, I can't use this word, threw away a lot of money buying, obviously, phony cigars. And it, it just was so... Luckily, nowadays, it's not quite as rampant, but it's so sad when you can get a really good cigar for eight or nine dollars. Yeah, I, Art, I agree. I think that yeah. Art's hitting the nail on the head, guys. And, yeah, and, 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 and again, there's a lot of great manufacturers that are out there, out of, out of the Dominican, out of Nicaragua, out of Honduras, right. that are making quality, quality products. And I gotta, I've got to give it to Art because if, if you get a Cuban cigar, even if it's an authentic Cuban cigar, you never know Probably if it's run, if it's, if it's going to run on you, if it's booked, if right. it's going to turn sour halfway yeah. through because they can't produce enough. And with the, the amount of tobacco that's being produced now out of Nicaragua, Honduras, and the DR, any of those major boutique oh, brands yeah. that are out there, you're, you're guaranteed to get a great cigar. Yeah, yeah. no question. We're happy to, we're, we, we'd like to think that we're among some of those great boutique brands that yeah, are out yeah, there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> It's doing well in our stores, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think uh, I think it, we're, since we're starting to run out of time, believe it or not, I think it's time that we rate the cigar and then tell the folks at home, since this is Alec Bradley month, what we're going to do for them for this entire month. What you want to do first? Well, let's rate it first. Rate it? I'll give it a 4.65. Really? I, I like this cigar a lot. Huh. Uh, I give it a 4.85. Ooh. You it's, guys can't rate it. How dare you? How dare I? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And you guys are really great. I mean, I you know I didn't know what to expect, and I mean the energy is, is fan. You guys are great, cool. oh, fantastic. Definitely. I shoot a few yeah. of them later. We've been doing it. We've been doing it a long time. <laughs> Uh oh. Don't fire me now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, no, it's not bad. It's oh, just okay. a little lower. Four point three five. Wow. It's because it's too too much. That's a great too, rating. It's it it's is. It's very it's very it. honest. I thought you I thought you give it a you. few. <laughs> I thought you give it a few tens just for the band. I thought she was going to go like three something. Oh no! no. Really. See, no, I, I, I think do that. I think the problem was that the Tofi threw it off. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the that's yeah. the problem. She's not getting any Tofi. She's got the Tofi infused. <laughs> well, to counterbalance my illustrious compatriot down there, I'm giving it a 40. I mean, this is a great cigar. No it question is. about it. It is a good cigar. Yeah, I mean, it's it, 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 it's a little richer than I normally smoke, but perfect. Perfect. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. I love this cigar. It's a great cigar. I'd give it a five if I weren't afraid to be slammed by everybody yeah, else. Yeah, right. No, Temp is definitely a five. I know. So this average is out around <laughs> 4.75, which is a great rate. It's still, yeah. it's, this is still changing. I mean, I get a nice... It um, is changing a, yeah. a lot. Nice, it is. Um, it's a great cigar. Toasty taste to it now. This is, uh, you know, I'm glad you brought that it's word up. It's very complex. It very, really is. Yeah, but yeah. it's very Cuban-esque. Yeah. Okay. Since it's Alec Bradley month, Scott, what are we doing for the folks this month? Well, this is probably, as you know, we've been working with specific companies uh, for month-long promotions, and this by far is my favorite. Um, yeah. And I think you guys are going to like it, too. Um, for the whole month, if you buy any, uh, buy a box of or any 20 Alec Bradley cigars, you can buy, you can buy another pack of 10 for $10. Yep. So buy 20, get wow. 10 for a dollar each more. And this won't be some, you know, mixed bag yeah, these of are unbanded. Nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is first line, first line well, you know, recognizable, a blend brands. of whatever. Name, name, you know. name well, name me an Alec Bradley that's not good, so no. they're all good cigars. No, no of course uh, they are. The at the same the time, trilogy. The, trilogy. The, trilogy. the Trilogy. The Trilogy. The Trilogy. Way back. I don't think they make that anymore. Yeah, no. No. They don't do that anymore. The old, the old, John's the, got uh, some in his humor, humor, I think. I have one. All of one. Yeah. Well, you got to keep it for posterity. Absolutely. Yeah. Not also, even Alan keeps it for posterity. I'm not, <laughs> we got more stuff going on, man. Oh, yeah? Oh, we got In more stuff. In addition to that, if you buy any 10 Alec Bradley, you can get a five pack for $10. So. Buy more, yeah, save more. Still good. Buy more, yeah, save buy more, more, yeah. Save more. Yeah, you um, and if you and buy three boxes, you'll get three 10 packs for $30. For $30. Oh, yeah. wow. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're great deals, and they're all great cigars. Um, and we have a we have events. We're not going to have any events coming up this week, but next week, um, next not this Friday, but the following Friday, we have Freehold uh, from eleven to two, and then Phoenixville from five to eight. Um, same specials, more goodies um, when you buy, in addition to the ten packs. 
Plus, you're going to be able to enter to win a humidor. Uh, if you participate in the promotion, enter to win a humidor filled with Alec Bradley cigars. Filled with cigars? Filled with cigars. Filled nice. with cigars. Wow. Yes. And Wait, Alan's really take, pulling out all the stops, isn't he? We're not talking desktop humidor either. I mean, this oh, is, we're talking like real. This is like a big, like, it, it's not a 150 count humidor. It's going to be a mini cabinet. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Very aggressive. Yep. Yeah. Well, you guys do good work. Go big or go home. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Go big or go home. I love that. I like exactly it. Exactly right. That's awesome. No, that's a pretty good deal. Guys. I told you. So. I, it's my what about favorite you? Do one. Do we sell that's these ashtrays? Budget is all this Beautiful coming Beautiful ashtrays. Out of. Yeah, we yeah sell we've got some. Problems. We've got some yeah. fun things. The ashtrays yeah, we are sell fun. The ashtrays. Aren't they gorgeous? Those are huge. Yeah. Yeah. Those are yes. Beautiful yes. ashtrays. Beautiful. They're nice. They look like genuine something or another. Not quite sure what. <laughs> genuine, genuine ceramic. Ceramic. Wow. Wow. Genuine wow. and genuine chrome on top. So it's not formica. No, it's so not. You, you haven't raped the wetlands to kill all the formica trees. No. Good, <laughs> good, trees. good. Hey, it's just yeah, about, about genuine formica. Too? Absolutely. We do have some oh, hats. Check out the no, hats. hats. Yeah. I've never hats. hats. I don't know why. I did too, take a picture. I'm not too cool in hats. How come you guys are wearing hats? Because my head's too big. Yeah, I'll say. Silver I, I never it wasn't in the budget, apparently, for me to get a hat, so I'm, I'm good with it. Well, folks, you've uh, hope we've entertained you and uh, educated you. We've entertained a bit. ourselves, and uh, well, we are very grateful. Pretty sure, we're having a great time. Yeah, we are having a great time. We're very thrilled and happy and pleased to have Alec Bradley as a sponsor. We hope uh, you enjoy their cigars. Certainly, you can find them in our nine stores, but of course, you can find Alec Bradley almost anywhere. So. Wherever you're viewing this and the sound of our voices, we hope you'll patronize your local merchant, your local tobacconist. And, uh, you know, remember, if you don't patronize him, when it gets cold outside, he may not be there with his lounge to allow you to smoke in the wintertime. So, true that. True yeah. that. True that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, really? Okay. What? Live true that. Really? Live true that. Live, Live true, true that. that. Live true that. So you guys are like hip. It. Oh, my God. It says it on the back of the hat. What's it say? Live, live true. true. Oh, live true, yeah. That's yeah. what I meant to That's say. That's our motto. That's yeah. what I meant to say. Live true. <laughs> true that. <laughs> true that. <laughs> oh my God. And if any of you would like to appear on the panel and discuss your favorite cigars, just send us a uh, email or letter or oh. smoke signal or whatever. Please try to keep it smoke at 150,000 words or less. <laughs> why you'd like to be on the panel. Yeah, because Scott has and to read them all. We're going to pick a few people in the upcoming shows. We like, That'd you know, nice. we like we like to have customers on the show yeah. and get it directly. We smoke all day long. This is what we do for a living. So we'd like to get it, Isn't you know, from other living? viewpoints. That's a fun living. Yeah, it's a fun. Oh, we do. We <laughs> eat and drink and smoke. Could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could use What's a bad about that? Training, yeah. Not a, not a thing. <laughs> yeah, the same. I got to drive 20 minutes back and forth to work. If I could figure out a way to eliminate that, it'd be perfect. Well, Live here. the time goes by <laughs> way too fast. Oh, so again, we thank Alec Bradley for being here with us. So they're going to they're going to be in a few future shows. So I guess it's time to say goodbye. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. <laughs> Hi, mom. Ciao for now, everybody. It was, it was great to be here. Absolutely, it was a pleasure to be with all of you. Thank well, you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. On behalf of all of us on the panel and. And on behalf of all of you at home that patronize our stores and buy the fine cigars that we sell, hopefully this month you'll load up on Al Bradley. Uh, I do not at those prices. <laughs> we better load Yeah, well, I hope so. Get it well, it's It's good. a pleasure to bring this show to you, and please keep those emails, cards, and letters, and comments coming in. You have a great week, and we're going to see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>